Hello everyone, welcome to the English sessions. Today we're going to see a new topic and new vocabulary I'm going to introduce now. Okay, my name is Mr. Antonio and I am Miss Cynthia. And today we are going to work together. Uh, so the first first of all, for the explanation of the new topic, I would like to teach you the new vocabulary that they're going to help us uh, for completing this section. Okay? So to, uh, the first vocabulary is about routines. In this case, we have half lunch. Can you repeat? Half lunch. Okay? Repeat after me, Miss Cynthia. Can you help all our our friends with the, the new vocabulary? Half lunch. Half lunch. Very good. Don't forget the pronunciation. Half lunch. Half lunch. The next vocabulary is wake up. Repeat after me. Wake, wake up. Sorry. Wake up. That's good. Wake up. Don't forget that. So the next one is do homework. Do homework. It's my turn. Do homework. Very good. Do homework. Okay. So the next vocabulary is go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Very good. Another routine that you can use uh, is brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Very good. So the next one is get dressed. Repeat after me. Get dressed. Get dressed. Excellent. So uh, we have another vocabulary that is take a shower. Repeat after me. Take a shower. Take a shower. Good. So uh, the next one is go go to school. Can you repeat please? Go to school. Go to school. Go to school. Okay. So and the last one is have breakfast. Repeat after me. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Excellent. So now we are going to match the new vocabularies with the picture that you have. Uh, that, that you have. Uh, I'm so sorry that we can have on the whiteboard. Yeah. So we have some pictures. In this picture, we're going to match with those vocabularies. Yeah. So, uh, Miss Cynthia, can you help me, please? Sure. Have breakfast. What do you think is the best picture for this vocabulary? Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Do you think it's correct? Yes. Very good. Have breakfast. This is the best, the best picture for this. Uh, for 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 have breakfast. Sorry. So the next one is go to bed. So Miss Cynthia, please, can you tell our friends what is the correct picture for this expression? Go to go to school. So sorry. Go to school. Okay. Go to school. Is this picture? Very good. You can see the children going to school. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Go to school. So the next one is take a shower. What do you think is the correct picture for take a shower? Do you think that take a shower is that? What do you think? So, Miss India is going to help us with the correct answer. Take a shower. This is the correct picture. Take Very a good. This is the correct one. Take a shower. So, the next one is get dressed. Get dressed. What do you think is the right picture for this camera? Get dressed. Do you need any help? Miss Cynthia, can you help our friends? Okay, get dressed. If you thought that the girl, uh, that this picture is for this vocabulary, get dressed, you write. Very good. So, brush your teeth is our next vocabulary. Brush your teeth. So, Miss Cynthia, can you help us? 
what is the best picture for brush your teeth? Okay, brush your teeth is this picture. Excellent. Brush your teeth. That's cute. Okay, so the next one, let me see, is go to bed. What do you think is the correct picture for this uh, for this vocabulary? Go to bed. In this case, we're going to have uh, we're going to need the help of Miss Cynthia. Miss Cynthia, can you help us? What is go to bed? Go to bed is this picture. Go to is bed. the last picture. That's good. Excellent. We have go to bed. This is the correct one for the uh, for this uh, vocabulary. Go to bed. So. The next one is do homework. Okay, this is about you. My question is for you. What do you think is do homework? Do you think this is the best picture for this uh, for this vocabulary? Yes. Let me see. Miss Cynthia, do you think that is correct? This is do homework. Mm, no. 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 It's not correct. Can you tell us the answer, please? Yeah. Thank you so much. Do homework is... It's so difficult. That this. Do you think this is do homework? Yes. It's correct. It's do homework. It's a girl doing his home, her homework. So sorry. So the next one is wake up. Wake up. Just we have Two pictures. Uh, two pictures. Do you think that is this wake up or is this wake up? What do you think is the correct one? Okay, Miss Cynthia, please, can you help us? What is wake up? Okay, let me see. Is this so far? Oh, wake up. Seriously? What do Are you think? sure? What do you think? Is correct, wake up? Yes, it's correct. Very good. And the last one, it's obvious. We have the last picture, the last, uh, just the only one, the only one picture that we have. And the last, uh, the last vocabulary that is half lunch. Okay, very good. Don't forget, practice in your home, please. Miss Cynthia, can you repeat after me? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Get dressed. Get dressed. Go to school. Go to school. Do homework. Do homework. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Wake up. Wake up. Take a shower. Take a shower. And go to bed. Go to bed. Very good. Please don't forget to practice in your home. My top tip for you guys is practice, practice the new vocabularies, okay? So, now, uh, the routines, we can use the routines normally in the simple present. What is simple present for you? The simple present, uh, it's, it's a verb tense that you can use for repetitions or any action that is repeated or generalizations, yeah? So the present simple is, uh, is, used, is, talk about, uh, is used to talk about scheduled actions in the near future. So in this case, we have past, we, we are not going to talk about past, this is the present simple. Remember that it's, it's, need to talk, uh, it's about scheduled actions in the, in the near future, but this is the present simple, yeah? Present simple. So the grammar rule for present simple is easy to uh, to understand. We just need three things. The first one is the subject. The subject is important for uh, to to form any sentences uh, with pres simple present. The second one is important to have verb. In this case, verb in present. Yeah. So the next one is the complement. The complement. Okay. Just we have three things: subject, verb, and complement. That's the grammar for the simple present. So 
in this case, can you give me some example of simple present? Any example that you have? Please. First, we need a subject. Any subject that, that you can imagine that you can tell me? That's good. I. I is a good example. It's a subject. Now, I need a verb. I, in this case, clean. Clean is the verb. We need a verb to form the sentences. But it's not completed. For that reason, we need a complement. I clean. I clean what? I clean my room. Yeah? So, this is the first example for to for the simple present with subject, verb, complement. In the next example, we have other subject. You. You, we need a verb, wash. And we need a complement, the car. Okay? So, we have the sentence in simple present, you wash the car. Yeah? So, the next one, other subject, we. We need a verb, in this case, play. We play, we play what? We need a complement, basketball. We play basketball. Yeah? We are talking about in simple present. So, and the last example, okay, maybe it could be other subject, they, they, we need a verb, cook, and the last one, I'm so sorry, uh, what is the last thing that we need to complete the simple present? Complement. Complement. Thank you, miss. Thank you so much. In this case, pasta. They cook pasta. Okay, so, uh, now, what happened with the simple present in third person in singular, please? Uh, carefully in this in, in this in this thing because the function is not the same. When we when we talk about in, in simple present, but with third person in singular, we need the subject is the same rule. Subject, but the verb change. You add s. You add s for, uh, to the verb. When we talk about in third person in singular, in this case, he walk. It's not he walk, it's he walks. Yeah? And the complement, he walks the dog. He walks the dog. Okay? So, please, don't forget, when, if you are talking about in third person in singular with simple present, you add S to the verb. Yeah? Okay? Other example, or what is the other personal pronoun, or the, pers or the third person in singular? We have he, the next one, she. She is other, uh, other person, other third person in singular. So, we have another example, in this case, John. Remember that it's not John, it's John's, because you add S, yeah? And the complement, the rope. She jumps the rope. And the last one, the last third person in singular, it. 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 It's not it, it's it. Carrot. It eats carrot. Okay? Why S? Because they are third person in singular. And for this rule, you add S. Please, be careful with the next explanation. Because if we have verbs with ending we, I, like a, for example, play, you add S. It follows the same rule with the rest of the, uh, of, of, of the word. Yeah? Oh, with the rest of the verb. But, if you verb ends with why, but before 
you have a consonant, you delete the letter Y and replace with I E S. Okay? In this case, you can see the examples play and study. The difference is because play at the end is with Y, but before Y you have vowel, and for that reason just you add S. In the next one is Y, the ending is Y, but before Y you have a consonant. For that reason, replace Y with I E S, okay? Don't forget that, please. Uh, so, the next one, if the verb ends with O, C, H, S, H, double S, X, the ending, or, uh, or you add E, S, okay? Just for the third person, just the verb for the third person in singular, yeah? So, uh, I'm going to give you some examples, for example, she, she, what do you think? Can you tell me any, any example about this picture? She paints, paints a picture, yeah? It's with S at the end of the verb. The next example is he eats an ice cream. The next one is he listens to music. Now, tell me. Uh, it's clear for now? Good. So, Miss Cynthia, I have some question for you. Can you tell me? Let's go uh, now. Let's talk about in present. Let's continue to talk about in present. Okay. Miss Cynthia, can you tell me what do you what do you do on Monday? On Monday, I play guitar, maybe. Okay. Okay. Let's repeat the question. Please, don't be nervous. <laughs> okay, so, can you tell me what, what do you do on Monday? Okay, on Monday, I swim in the pool. Okay, that's good. If you want to change that in third person, look at the picture. He swims in the swimming pool, yeah? Or she swims in the swimming pool. So, next. Next. What do you do on Tuesday? Okay, on Tuesday I play soccer. Okay, if you want to change that in third person, about him is he plays soccer, yeah? So, thank you so much. So we're going to do now the last activity. The last activity, I'm going to show you two options and you're going to tell me what is the best option for the sentences. Yeah? Choose the correct option. In this case, we have the first one, she with her teddy bear. What do you think is correct? He sleep, sleeps or sleep? What do you think, Miss Cynthia? Um, the I first one or the second one? The first one because it's not the first That's good. It's the first one because remember that we are talking about in the present but with third person in singular. She sleeps with her teddy bear. So, the next one is he in the swimming pool. What do you think is the correct one? Swim or swims? Miss Cynthia, can you help us, please? What is correct? Swim or swims? Okay, uh, is the correct is swims. Swims, very good. This is the correct one. Swims, excellent. Because it's the same one, it's the same rule for the third person in singular, yeah? So, the next one is reads or reads. He a book. He reads a book or he read a book. He reads a book. He reads a book. Very good. This is 
the correct one. So the next one is does or do she her homework? She does her homework or she do her homework? What do you think, Miss Cynthia? I think she does her homework. She does her homework. Do you agree? Yes, it's correct because she is third person in singular. And the last one is we have the same verb do or does. They exercises. They do or they does exercises. What do you think is the correct one? Does? Do you think it's does? Miss Cynthia, can you help us? Is does the correct answer? Okay, what do you think, guys? Help me, please. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's does. Do. 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 Do you think do is correct? Yes, in this case, do is correct. Why? Because they is not third person in singular. Okay, they is third person, yes, but in plural, not in singular. And that rule, uh, adding es or s, is just for the third person in singular. Okay, so guys, please don't forget to check the link and do your exercises. Okay, yes. that's all for today. Uh, I would like, to, uh, I would like to say so and give all recommendations about this contingency. Please, guys. Um, so my name is Mr. Antonio and, and Teacher Cynthia. That's all for today. See you soon. Bye.